What's up, guys? So, we are about to sit down and watch the new episode of The Walking Dead. Just finishing up the uh, old one right here. This crazy... Uh, oh, I guess he struggled onto the couch. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle sit. We are pretty tired. We just got back from Palm Springs. We were there uh, basically all weekend. Mm. And... Uh, it's quite an experience. We'll tell you all about it later. Yes. But, indeed. yeah, in the meantime, new episode's about to start, which is good. Hopefully everything... Oh. Close the, there we go. Oh, wait. Listen. He definitely didn't just like get that from nowhere. I don't want to wait for it anymore. What's up, guys? You don't either. Don't be afraid to say hi. You don't have to wait for it. If we start tomorrow, right now. There's a fan. With everything we've beat, Talking everything about. we've endured, everything we've risen above, everything we've become. If we start tomorrow, right now, no matter what comes next, we've won. We've already won. So that was like Rick's version of, they can take our lives. But they'll never Let's take our freedom. freedom. Yeah. This season on AMC is The Walking Dead. We have come this far. Our first victory will allow our second. Our second will just be comfortable. We will lose I know. Our one of our ranks. So I'm really not. I don't know why he's saying these things. What do you want to do with our youth? Just poking fun. Let's start for the new episode. Huh. Here we go. Oh, that was oh. such a tease. Now it begins. This program contains violent content, which may be too intense for some viewers. You were pretty on AMC's The Walking Dead. And on this day, we begin to reshape this world. Y'all can live if you surrender. I'm mean, bad to kill now. Gabriel. I just want to say that. I don't think that Gabriel's going to die. No matter what comes next, we've won. We've already won. This is battle music, yeah. Ready to go, go, go to war for sure. It's Ezekiel. Ah. Oh, he's taking a nap. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah. Or the grenade. <laughs> I said he was taking a nap. <laughs> Just assumed he was being lazy. Oh, next will be Maggie and Jesus. Ah, yep, there's Jesus. Mm -hmm. Tara. They've never done a shot quite like this before. No, they haven't. Or like this at all, rather. They're playing with some new uh, cinematography techniques this yeah. season. We're going to look so resigned. Aaron looks determined. I think Morgan's on the chopping block this season, folks. It's my personal uh, punch. I don't, I don't buy that. 
Oh, that's that guy, uh, Minkus. Let's hurry it up, fishies. We got our pants down on here. One like he Yeah, I mean. Puck, relieve Todd at the main. Hey, Mark. Shut up. Give me your gun. How does that feel? It uh, feels. Shut up. Go inside, get the cooler, start packing up. A genius. Wow. <laughs> Go. One tree, though. That's what he was in. Okay. Little Roy? Little Roy. Is he a rapper? Okay. <laughs> Little Roy, it's Mario. You copy? J Top, it's Mari, you copy? Oh, she's realizing that the defenses have been taken down. Yeah. Lock the stairwell, every floor. And like metal covering the tires too. Like the umbrella metal, you know? They shoot the tires up, they can't move. It's a fair point. They should have had Lenny James in front of the wave with these signs. No, we don't. <laughs> yeah, I think he's on the chopping block, and I, you know, I don't know. I keep going back and forth, like with the whole Carl thing. Part of me thinks that it's like impossible for them to actually kill him off in a way that would make sense for the show, um, but then part of me kind of doesn't. I, I mean. I'm trying to think of like how many people would actually get as upset. I'm trying to think of like which people that are still around would get would would make Rick that upset if they died. And it's like oh, Carl. It's a very select list, you know. It's like basically only Carl, Judith, and Michonne. Daryl. Yeah. Daryl's is he's more part of the nuclear family than anyone else. Because, you know, brother. But they can't kill Daryl. Because everybody will riot. Haven't you seen the memes? I feel like they say that about a lot of people. Um, yeah, they say that all the time. I don't know. I think it might be Carl. There was, like, a lot of different callbacks to that potentially oh. happening. And, and Rick might very well have been having, like, a fantasy about being old and gray and... Like drew this bro and I actually no, that's a weird point that in time. That doesn't make to... any sense. Why would he fantasize about that? Like why would he why would he imagine him like with a cane and stuff? Like it, it doesn't really make sense that it's a fantasy. Yeah, we that's true. We've already seen Rick's fantasy last season. Well no, beginning yeah, beginning of last season. So I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely a flash forward, that whole thing. Um and it and that's the thing is if that is a flash forward, Carl's still alive in that flash forward. We don't see his face, but it's got to be him. It's because of the whole Asian. Oh, quick side note: Brian Norman Reedus should have Keanu Reeves on it because he loves uh, motorcycles too. I don't watch it. I don't either. Looks like they made themselves a moat. Guess we shouldn't be surprised. Considering we can do this, we did before. Yeah, that worked out yeah. great. That's what I was considering. I wasn't here before. Just need a clear shot, right, Diane? Just a few seconds. So we just need the time to right? Hmm. They see us. They fire a gun. We're not getting in. Don't let them fire a gun, Diane. <laughs> Morgan's giving orders. Damn. Morgan calling the shots. I do not. 
Hey, we're here to help. This one just be you. I don't die. Oh, him and Michelle, boy. Him, Michelle, and Rick. <laughs> Famous last words? I don't think so. I think he's right. Carol could also be on the chopping block. Oh, I don't think that he killed Carol before giving her a proper love story. That would piss off a lot of people. She could have gotten it in with Daryl when she tried to turn him down. Well, he turned her down. Or they could turn down. Well, well, she, right there, she, she could have tried a little harder. Then we're here. It's over before it started. It is not. And he won't. Okay. We together will find him. End him. And fulfill the promise of what we have begun. Trust the king. One of our followers. Our post is due north oh. to the woods. As that surely his course, so shall it be ours. If our comrades had already arrived, they'd have been here. Return to the staging area. Gather the others when they land. And if they haven't yet, release Shiva from her cage. Do north. We'll leave a trail for you. Ensure no enemies remain in these environs and be not ten minutes behind. Go. Onward! Woo! Oh, they a lot of information. To our foe! Then to his compound! And to certain victory. I thought Carol still wears the earrings. This came word. Gonna be that scene where he's walking down the the hallway alone. I think. Yeah. Also, those two Alexandrians are probably gonna die. Possibly. I don't know who they are. Signal if they're already inside. We'll be there. Come on, let's find the guns. Maybe Eric's gonna die this episode. Diane? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Well done. I feel like that second guy moved entirely too slow. I just seen his comrade fall from a silencer.
Dang, Morgan is in full on killing people again, though. I love it. Does Diane have a longbow or a crossbow? I don't know. Are you sure on the hub? Yeah. Okay. Come on, you know they wouldn't be that sloppy with something like this. Kill the bitches. Yeah, what the fuck? Who are the bitches? Oh, are they talking about Oceanside? Perhaps? Maybe. Yeah, which is why they zoomed in on Terra right then. And also, I think Diane does have a longbow, which is more impressive than a crossbow. Uh oh. That guy's gonna die. He's gonna shoot too early. I wouldn't stand next to him. Rick, why are you alone, dude? That's not a good idea. Oh, they have a map. Oh, that's okay. That's smart. That that was what Dwight was giving Daryl. Yeah. Hot ground. Yeah, he stole that one, Dwight. Yeah. I'm up there too. Stairs. I don't see you moving. Oh, you are so wrong. Man, Tobin is getting all sorts of screen time this season. Well, they kind of already did that. I don't know, here. Yeah. I think Eric's going to die this episode. Yeah. He's going to try and use the Rambo. Lo lo lots of close ups of him and stuff. They seem to be putting a lot of emphasis on him. It's like, oh, we got to do it now. Eric's gonna die. Thank you, Rice. We shoot too early. Why did they not fire? When what the hell was that? Why did they not fire? It's dirt. Yeah. Because she, our, our dog just came in and like wiped dirt all over Jill's pants. It's wet and dirty. Yeah, dogs are gross. No. Like, they do Thank that. You. Whew, so how are you guys this evening? Oh God, I have to uh, apologize. We're a little bit low energy. We have had like no sleep for the last two days. We um, we're in downtown San Diego doing this uh, crazy thing for the San Diego Library, and then uh, also the haunted the hotel. Walk. Yeah, the zombie walk for the the or, uh, the library, and then the uh, haunted hotel afterwards. And then we 
got in the car, like right after that, literally got on the road and started going to Palm Springs. And then we're like doing it. Yeah. So we had like a 16, 18 hour day yesterday or something. It was pretty gnarly. Fun though, but gnarly. Yes. Except yes. for one thing that happened last night, which we'll, talk we'll, we'll do a whole separate video on just because it was so crazy that it deserves its own video. Well, as far as this episode goes, I see what they're doing. Everything is all action. They're not slowing down to mm -hmm. keep momentum and to keep people engaged for the people who, I don't know, I guess aren't keen on drama. Yeah. So uh, like, I don't mind drama. I like drama. I do well too. Done drama. Yeah. Uh, they're trying to make up for, you know, all the, the, yeah. the bottle ups and the whatever I, I think they did lose a lot of viewers after the Glenn and Abraham death I mean that that turned a lot of people off it turned me off quite frankly not enough to stop watching the show but that seems yeah. horrific so they're trying to do the opposite this year well I knew they were going to kill I mean it was only a matter of time before another like yeah. person who'd been there since the beginning mm -hmm. died and they've been killing people like I think the last major beloved character to get killed before Glenn and Abraham although a lot of people leave Abraham out was probably Herschel um, is someone else dying between Herschel and Beth? That's true, but I Beth I didn't Ty like Beth. Beth died, so. Tyrese died. Yeah, but like Herschel seemed more like beloved, like beloved father figure. <laughs> Some game red machete. Oh, the right, the red machete thing where they follow hmm. Rick's machete before it gets to Rick, I guess. Who holds the red machete? Huh. Aw, uh, it used to be held by a little girl and a woman before it chopped Gareth's face in half. Does he still have them? I don't know, I don't think so. Where the hell did he lose it? Wait, didn't you get that? For more, go to amcity.com. I know he had the hatchet, Rick's, Rick's hatchet. It's a crispy chicken. I'm not sure. I'm actually trying to think about that now. I, I don't actually remember him having it after the Gareth scene at all. Mm, I'm sure he still did, though. I mean, they still had that orange backpack from are season you, three. Are you sure that it wasn't a hatchet after that? I mean, he favored the hatchet, but I don't see where he would have lost the machete. It had to have been between that episode, whichever one it is, and 6-9, because in 6-9, he had the axe when he walked outside to go on the walker rampage. Well, he had, yeah, he had the, 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 you know the, the axe then. Yeah. So, I mean, so, so he lost it, like, in that. 16 episode span like from well, I don't like think he, he just stopped using it I think it's still there I think it's just like you know a retired piece right now I don't mm -hmm. think he lost it especially now that they're doing this whole hashtag red machete thing like this yeah, it's, comeback it's interesting oh back on they'll probably kill someone with that machete in the season oh, machete That's one more. The gun's got to be up here. He said they'd be here. Everything else he passed, he was checking out. You guys are a piece of shit. I'm with Daryl. Yeah, it's okay. The sanctuary that could cut through those walkers and clean up an exit. We'll go faster if we split up. I'm oh, no. That's never a good place. idea, Rick. Get the courtyard right there to leave. In this courtyard. Uh-oh. Oh, he's trying to split up. Maybe it is Daryl. I don't think so. I can't see them killing Daryl and Well, he's already been captured, so that's not an option. I don't think either one of those things will. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I'm not one of them, Bob. My name's Dean. Did you shoot him? 
Why are you still talking? Sarah. Wait. Just wait. For what? He has his hands up, Tara. I have a job to do. Ooh, that's I, a I tough call. I would lock him back in there and say yeah. we'll come back for you. I don't think I'd kill him, but... I wouldn't kill him. Uh, he pissed his hands. Yeah. He's on his knees, hands pissed. Yeah. Morgan? Oh, no. Morgan got hit. No, he, he leaned to the side. I think he's faking it. He's just killed him. Morgan just died. Just stay in there. Maybe they had him say that because he is going to die. Let's be ready. I don't know. Morgan, Bruce, and Sean, Carol. Tara. There's a firefight outside. We don't even know if Morgan's alive. He's lady, I'm not one of them. You're here. You had a gun. You are one of them. You had a gun? I'm not. You got one. What are you doing here? I'm just a worker. Yeah, they are working. He works for points. Make sure you cook, clean, and whatever. They do not give me a choice. They made me leave all my can gas. They do do that. Yeah. Can you people can do this in the sanctuary, too? Family's okay. We don't want to hurt the workers. We're not going to. You believe him? It's not about him. I'm not going to shoot someone with their hands up, and I'm not letting you. These medical supplies. They're the hilltops, right? Maggie's prenatals? They took them because they could. Because they don't give a shit, so why should we? Damn, Tara is ruthless. This isn't you. It is now. I'm here for revenge. It can't be about that. It can. Well, I would. You know what's funny? No one would think you was the soft and not pretty boy. You know how hard it is to piss yourself on purpose? It's like your dick knows you're wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Well, that shit is ruined. Oh. Look, that dumb bitch Maggie and her kid are just going to die anyway. Just like you two. Oh, I know. And someone else will. There's too many of us. So that's where we differ. So I take the two of you with me, then I go on hell with these drugs policy. So why don't you put that thing down? Unless you're going to shoot you as a beautiful man here. I'm not going to ask you again. She's gonna shoot you. I am. Yeah, she is. Shut up, Tara. I can do it. Tara, he has a gun to my head. Not for long. Wait, wait, wait for Go to hell. Okay, so you really want to risk it, huh? Me for him? It's a pretty easy shot. I'm glad you might know that I am not worth it. Report this out. And I may talk a big game, like I'm a tough guy, but I'm not. He's playing a game. Yeah. I really just want to. Kill. Shoot. He's going to tear him it. Just shoot him. Not you. Uh, it's not about revenge. It's about getting it done. You guys are wasting a lot of time on this piece of shit. How are you doing? He tried to kill us. I told you. It's not about him. Oh, Jesus, you're being an idiot now. What about Abraham, Glenn, Denise? This is different. You're not Rick. You're not Maggie. No, but she'll hear what I have to say. Emacs, that one. Emacs, that one. Uh, what? I, what you. the hell is he talking about? She'll oh. know... I want to hear what I have to say. Maggie probably on his side. Is there another way out of here? Yeah. Follow me, please. Great. See, Morgan's speaking. Yeah. Baker! Oh. Is that guy going to turn? 
He's probably going to turn. Oh, no, he's alive still. Oh, that's messed up. Oh. Oh, God. Morgan, just kill him. Mercy. Oh. I think he might be shot, but I got his arm. Yeah. That's his stabbing arm. No, oh, now Morgan's pissed, dude. No, you gonna leave him? I mean... Why didn't you shoot him? He's got a sign concern. Or I guess he didn't want to waste the bullet. Dude. I mean, he doesn't want to waste the bullet, and I think he also doesn't... I think he wants to, like, at least give the guy a chance, even though it's probably not... No, he's gonna die. I know, but I, I think Morgan's, like... Like... Yeah, he is gonna go on maybe, a killing spree. Maybe he could live. Maybe he could live. He can't. He couldn't even move. That was just kind of cruel. They should have just shot him. I don't get why they do that. We've seen that before. So, where someone be like eaten by a walker and no one shoots the person. I know, yeah. Like, it makes no sense. Like, why yeah. are you letting them suffer? Yeah. I don't like that about them. That's, no. Except for when Rick let that walker eat the piece of shit last. Oh, that doesn't count. Yeah, that was a, I mean, like, he in deserved uh, it. 6A... It was it was uh it was Michonne, Sneaker Martin Green, Green's husband, um the the guy that guy who was telling Michonne about his wife and how they met and then uh he wanted to give her a letter because he was bidden, but then he got like caught up at like this fence and he's like eaten alive. They're all like hopping a fence. I, I don't remember. This, this is at when, all. this is right before Glenn got stuck underneath the dumpster. Oh, yeah, and he had, like, that note in his hand. Yeah. yeah, okay, I do remember that. Yeah, that was fucked up. Yeah, I was like, why doesn't anyone just shoot him? Like, you know he's gonna be eaten alive. Which is, like, literally the worst way to die imaginable. I mean, like, like I, 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 I would put I would put that up there with, like, burning alive as, like, the two worst ways to die possible. Eating alive, because Because alive. it's just so slow and pain. I mean, it's just, like, dude. Rick Saviors, what? What is it? What? The Walking Dead rewards. Is it something about Rick Saviors? Oh, they've lost their minds. Yeah, that's just no. Don't call it that. <laughs> don't call it that. That's a terrible. Uh, no. Yeah. But yeah, no. If someone's in pain or suffering, just kill them. I think it's like an ammunition issue. They could have. Michelle had her sword. She could have stabbed so, him in the eye. So this is going to be interesting. I I hope that they encounter Eugene in this episode. They're inside the sanctuary. Well, not the main one. That's overrun by walkers. That's where Eugene is. And Egan is. Right. He's trapped there with Gabriel. Okay. I keep forgetting there's like multiple sanctuaries. Yeah. So at the, they're at like the one now where uh, that like Maggie and Carol uh, had that episode, like where they were like trapped in there with um, that female savior. Mm. Remember when the guy from Banshee like was like one of them? And, yeah. yeah. Okay. That redheaded chick who people tried to ship Rick with. Yeah. So he never met her ever. That made no sense at all. I don't know why. That, that just. <laughs> I was like, what? I didn't know that. I mean, when you... She's an enemy. He's never met her. Why yeah. would you ship them? When you first, like, told me that, I thought it was, like, a joke. Just no. because it was, like, the stupidest theory they, I've, like, ever heard. They'll, they'll ship Rick with anybody as long as it's not Michonne. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. Back on. Or... I told you. No, you're not. <laughs> you are not okay, Tobin. Don't you lie. Oh no. Uh oh. People are starting to come back. <laughs> yes, Trina. Mm. 
Why did she just use one hand? I think she kind of wanted it. I think she wants to die. Who wants to die like that? I don't know. She. I, I would have given myself a bullet in the head. I'd rather be shot than be eaten. And yes, they did ship uh, Rick with... What was her name? Peg? Pam? That red-headed chick? Oh, hey. You see it. The kills more. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with your shirt? That's a good walker. What the hell is this creature? <laughs> the bleach? What, what happened to him? I mean, before you. Oh, that's foreshadowing of something that's going on around here. Was that like acid or something? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, something like that. Because his shirt was like bleached out. Just one fact. And half of his face. He looked like two face. And what's that? We shall be ready regardless. He smiles a lot. What's about to happen? It's not just a few walkers. You know that, right? Yes. And yet I smile. These two are going to get together. Why? It's not going to be her and, her and Morgan. It should be, though. Do I feel the supreme confidence? Yeah. Or is my lot, my job, to simply project such certainty? <laughs> no. I can't take him seriously. Yes. I just. Yes and no. And then finally, yes to both. There we go. Okay. That's what I've done and what I do. Carol knows. I am king because I, I have provided a light to lead my people forward in the darkness, and they have made my fictions realities. So with all this and everything that's happened, all of us may not make it. We may not even win, and yet I smile. Yes, there will be no fantasy of failure this day. It's like, and yet I rise. This blood from the wasted. You said the wasted. Yeah, that's what they call them in the kingdom. Well, when I was hit him when we fired on him, it means he's moving stuff. Hells yeah. Back in business. Well done there. Hells yeah. Jerry, you silly man. As we move the very world. Is he gonna? Oh, no. Is there a walker behind there? Mm -hmm. I was living up there. Oh. 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 You have a flashback? The hand rot it pulled its way out both cuffs were still hmm. is that a dog food sandwich possibly Andy's so bald like it yeah he is <laughs> he's like a cowboy that's how cowboys are This is tense. So quiet. It's too quiet. They knew they were coming. No one's home. Oh no. Is this a trap? Could be. Oh. 
Damn. Nice. Oh, fuck, dude. This shit had like little wires. What? His wife and there's kids. probably what there's walkers in there. His wife and and, and uh, kid turned into walkers. He's keeping him in there. He's pulling the gun. Why else would they be locked in there? For safety. But he wasn't. Because he thought he could give away the danger. Mm. He's gonna, yeah. yeah. Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was pretty brutal on Rick's part. Rick's a creative man. He's gonna fucking come back, too. It didn't even go through the head. Oh my god. Oh no, Gordon's tripping again. Uh oh. Is he going crazy again? No. <laughs> Dude. This group is done. We've learned that you've become all of us. Yes. Morgan is in beast mode. Damn, dude. This is crazy. I never thought I would see Morgan like this again. <laughs> He's not curating around. Uh. Circle the door. Why? At least 20 feet. Guns up. Let's hold your fire. What? You're going to give up. You only fire if they fire first. They fire first when this dies. And let's hope for my sake that they don't. Your sake? What? You can try to stop me. your weapon and surrender. Don't be a fool. Doesn't sound good to me. Now kill him anyway. Don't be as dumb as they think we are. Put your guns down. Huh? okay. We did it the hard way. Because even if Maggie listens to you, Rick will listen to me. <laughs> She's got a point. I think I execute these people? No. I'm going to take them in. Okay. I think Jesus has a point. Oftentimes, soldiers of war, they're not fighting for their own interests. Yeah, right? that's that's true, and I've wondered, I mean, they have to take in a couple of them. Damn, dude. <laughs> oh I like this, Morgan. I told you. Oh, no. Wait up, Morgan. Oh. Oh, he made it back outside. We have to come for them before they come uh -oh. for us. That's not good. We can't leave them alive. He's gonna go to town on them. Uh, the two. Oh, how interesting. I know you do. You get transferred too. Oh, yeah. Lower your gun. Oh, that guy deserved to go, though. Came here to kill him. We're supposed to. They Now fuck that guy. It's not what we do. <laughs> he took <made> a picture. <laughs> and that, that guy should go though. Yeah, that guy is a piece of shit. He caused that kid to die. 
So what do we do, huh? We torture him. <laughs> Feed him to walkers. The Morgan should have just killed that one guy. Just the one guy. Yeah. Like everyone else can live. Okay, so. I love Morgan. That was really. Ooh, Assassin's Creed. Oh, he loves this game. Can't wait. Love Assassin's Creed. I'm a Super Mario girl myself. Um. Okay. Wow. Veronica. So. Um, Jesus is working. My yeah, I know. He's pissing me off too. I, I get what he's trying to do, though. Granted, all of them should not live. Like, that long-haired, greasy dude should be one of the ones to go. Oh, he should get fed to walkers alive. But not everyone who's fighting in this war are fighting because they support Negan, per se. It's because Agreed. it's their duty. That's what they're yeah, supposed to Yeah, and they're afraid of him, so it's like they have no choice. And plus, in a lot of cases, too, we know that Negan does this, like, where he, like, threatens their, like, family and stuff. Yeah. So they're probably doing it, well, like, not, to, to save not, somebody that they care about. Not even that, but more often than not, soldiers don't serve their own interests they serve the interests of their party or country or leader or whoever in this case is negan not all but that being said a lot of the saviors are terrible human beings i won't deny that but mm -hmm. not all of them some of them are just doing what they have to do to survive and don't see another option or have had agree. another option yeah. for a really long time yeah but uh that was so interesting how they showed the two different arguments and mentalities like battling within morgan right then like all of the stuff that's been going on since the end of season five when he first saw rick like after like yep, four morgan. or five years or whatever that that whole it's, conflict during season six it's now there's the purpose for that morgan they've been building morgan's character for you know from the beginning mm -hmm. from episode one and i i find it hard to believe that they will kill him now when he's Mm -hmm. At this huge turning point in his transition as a character. But they also give a lot of people a lot of screen time right before they kill them. They give Beth uh, two full episodes and then kill her. But Morgan was finally reintegrated back into the cast fully at the what the very end of season five, beginning of season six, right? Mm -hmm. And he's been resistant to this this killing mentality for the longest time, and now he's come back around to it for the right reasons, not because he's crazy. So I think there's more to be done with. Oh, dang! That was the chick who they killed. That was the the redheaded chick. Was it? it she just flashed across the screen for this Hallmark movie. The kill floor. <laughs> Hallmark. Anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah, that chick. Yes, uh, Sharon. It is a great episode so far. Yeah, I'd like say it's on point. Yeah, absolutely. This is good. This is really good. But, you know, I love Morgan. All right. Um, they, they won't hurt Morgan. I, I love Morgan too. I just I was worried that like his story just seemed like it was over, but now I guess it's not because now it's like both now he's like working it out within himself over which one of those two philosophies he's gonna go with in the moment. He's already you know, he went his no killing route and then you know Do you he, think Rick Rick's version of it. Morgan? Because Morgan goes crazy? No. Is that why he's getting all sad and weird? And... No, 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 no. I don't think Rick would ever do that. I don't think Rick could bring himself to kill Morgan. I really don't. That's true. He didn't clear. I, no! I, I, I don't think he could. He was there for me! Yeah. I, I, I mean, and, and that was in season three. They've been through, like, so much more now. Oh, uh, Morgan ran out of bullets. That's the only reason why he... I wish he had just one more, Sharon. He'll probably go back and kill him later. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, here we go. I think the family is alive in here. You think they're dead? Now we find out. Grace be God. Grace. Did he Grace put him is down? A person. I think so. Waves crashing. Yeah, that's a, ch a child's room. So where's the child? She's hiding under the bed. There's something fucked up in here. Gracie. No. Oh my God. Looks like Rick's got another baby. It's a baby that's... Oh, now he feels really guilty. He just murdered the father. Oh. Hey, Vic. Looks like he's 
got another adopted kid, huh? Chris Gracie's mom. Now Rick's gonna have an internal debate with himself. Yeah, he's like, am I going too far? He and Morgan are like pendulum that swings back and forth. Yeah. He's gotta take that baby. Oh, dude, for sure. There's no way he's leaving it. He'll come back for it. Oh. Why didn't that guy just say my baby? My baby's in there. Look if you don't believe me. I want clear Morgan. <laughs> Agree. I'm taking notes about things we're going to talk about in the follow up video, which you can uh, tune into later. No limit people. What? Unlimited people. So you can mean she's gone. Our friends have arrived. Is this ocean view? Oh. <laughs> yes. How does she know? Makes no sense, but I, I still love it. I... So we're gonna see Eric and or Tobin die. Yeah. Eric. Why was she that was sloppy? Yeah, that was crazy. the point of this plan. Maybe they should just retreat. Well, they've got them pinned down, though. Yeah, but now they're starting They to need fall. a grenade. Why don't they have a grenade That's or saying, something? Or a Molotov cocktail. Wait, now they've got reinforcements. Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> this camera work. He knows he's gonna die. Has he already been hit? Maybe. Maybe. I knew it. He's he's away. he's gonna be the first casualty of this war. Well, All right. this one whose name we know. Yeah. So, uh, remember the pigs eating the walkers, tigers, I mean, Kings is a smell, and she smells them. How does she know which who's them? Yeah. How does she know like which one is the enemy and which one? I mean, like, it's yeah. just it's so many people. Yeah, there's there's no way that's like possible. Like, if you're from the kingdom, okay, I get that. But what about the hilltop people or the Although, Alexandrians? Like, how do you know who's the savior, who's not? Although somehow canine units cannot go after other cops and go after criminals with the right commands. Oh, this is a tiger, though. I don't, I don't know, like, anything about this, but, like, I, I mean, it stands to reason if you could train a dog to do it, that you'd be able to train a cat to do it, too. What about a cat, though? A freaking tiger. A well, but you can train tigers, though. Mm. Or maybe, maybe all of the, uh, the tainted pigs that they've been eating, maybe they do smell a certain type of way now. The saviors. I don't know. Hmm. It might be part of the re yeah, make them fat and full on the dead. I don't know if animals can detect. If, Rot rotted flesh. But they can can they detect if somebody has consumed rotted flesh though? Maybe I don't know. I don't want to say yes or no mm. for certain. I'm not sure, but she's going with the pigs. Going with the pigs? Yeah, possibly. Maybe. Uh, oh yeah, because what he was doing. Yeah, like he did the. Oh, 
Oh, it's got to get Yep. I guess one of the stars of This Is Us, Chris Sullivan, executive producer of Scott and Gimble. Later, we're going to be joined live via satellite by Tom Payne, a.k.a. And Jesus, Tara, herself, Alana Masterson. There's a lot to talk about. We are back into season eight. We'll see you soon on Talking Dead. Hopefully, that have a fact. That would make me so happy. I know. Happy. That would be awesome. We, oh, uh, we got a chance to talk to Scott Gimble last week, actually, for like 10 or 15 minutes. It was really awesome. He was hanging on the red carpet. Uh, at the end of the night, and so uh, we went up to him and started chatting. He was very friendly. He yes. talked about like writing and you know like the production of the show and all that stuff. It was really cool. He was a really really nice guy actually. Very approachable. Um, was very appreciative of you know us talking about like the fact that he's a great writer and whatnot. And it was a good conversation. And, and also Scott Gibble is responsible for putting Rick and Michelle together officially and going against the comics and going against the grain and doing this awesome thing. And without him, none of us would be here right now ch -ch -ch chatting. That is true. So, yeah. Love Scott. He, he's a creative genius, for sure. <laughs> um, maybe all the fruit and food was tainted for sheep and to smell. And yeah, Scott hashtag was shown. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is a diet thing with with Shiva. You gotta look that up. Help. You gotta look that up. I mean, I whatever. You know, honestly, like I don't even care what the reason is. I just love seeing the tiger eat people. Like I, I don't think I've ever been more excited than like when Negan was about to bash Carl's head in and that tiger came out of nowhere and just like ate somebody's face. I I was just like, yes. Oh, thanks, Sharon. Um. Yeah, I said like I'm okay with Shiva now. I wasn't too keen when I first heard about her making an appearance on the show. I felt like you know, and, and it seems silly in in, in certain respects because you know it's a show about zombies. Like, why would a tiger being thrown in be any different? I don't know. Yeah. Um, what's the largest canine? It's like the largest dog. Probably either a massive. Or, I don't know, Mom, you would probably know the answer to this. What's, like, the biggest dog in the world? Do you know the biggest breed? I don't know. Akbosh is, like, pretty huge. Akbosh? I don't even know what that is. It's a German breed. No, it's a, it's a Turkish breed. Oh, really? Oh, back on. It is. I was certain victory. I want a tiger. White bangle tiger. This... I am not glad for his death. For anyone. <laughs> Carol's like, mm-hmm. So much break chalk. I have to break chalks. No. This journey will not end in retreat. But they know we're coming. <laughs> Indeed, they do. What does that mean? I don't understand. Is this like a Samuel Jackson moment? Yeah. Oh. Rick's shook. Yeah, he's. Is he going to start having flashbacks of himself now? Give me a picture. Gracie's mom? Perhaps. Yeah. Damn it. Keep your hands down. Oh no. Turn around slow. Oh, that's that guy for season one. The, the dude who's left with his family. Holy shit. Oh my god. Baby, is that? It's over, Rick. A 
Echo, the Savior's back. Oh, no. They're coming. Why does he just let Rick leave? I mean, their history should count for something, right? What's Daryl doing? Yeah, I don't know. Camera work is you know, really trippy. Yeah, it's like he's like getting high. I, mean, I know he's not, but that would be kind of funny if like Daryl just like stumbled onto like a bunch of ecstasy or something, and just was like pulled inside of his brain, alone in a building somewhere. Yeah, all the key players get close-ups. These are people who aren't gonna die. Huh. What the hell is he doing? Like rocking back and forth? It, it's just meant to show like the, the turmoil that the war is taking on him. Well no, I mean he's like doing all this. He's... Is he still smiling? One thirsty motherfucker. Be the end of the episode. Of course, he's not going to shoot him. I think he's going to let him go. That's my uh. Xbox One X presents scenes from the next episode of The Walking Dead. Make no mistake, our first victory will allow our second. Our second will deliver our third. And we'll get you to need it. Well, come on. You know how dangerous this is. Who these people are. We have come this far. All of us are still here. We will lose not one of our ranks. For more video, go to amc.com. All right, we got a commentary right, video coming. We are going to yeah. sign off with this one, and then we're going to do another video. Uh, a little bit later about everything that just happened today. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys. Apparently more than